I want to introduce our community vice president and uh, New York State Assemblyman, Mr. Chief Scott, come to stage, deliver us greeting to our members, our community. chasing after me before I left saying that I had to give a speech. So I'm happy to be here. Uh, ni hao, and I send my warmest regards uh, for a happy new year, a healthy and prosperous new year. Um, it's always a pleasure to be here. I think I've come uh, each of the now five years I've been in the assembly. And this is one of the uh, happiest events I have the privilege of attending. Um, you know, let's give a round for all of the performers, both the children, the professionals. You know, they have more talent in their pinky than I do in my entire body. Let's give them a round of applause for the show. Uh, and, and a tremendous amount of credit goes to the organizers who put this on every year, the volunteers who run the Orange County Chinese Association. Um, just as we celebrate the Lunar New Year here today, I view the Orange County Chinese Association as a celebration and a preservation of Chinese culture, of the rich Chinese history, and making sure that it lives on through the generations here in our backyard, here in Orange County. The, as was alluded to not too long ago, last year there were some challenges within uh, and around the association where the, the heart of this group, the heart of this organization was put at risk. And that heart is the school of the Orange County Chinese Association where the Monroe Woodbury School District in a change of policy really put its existence at risk. And the, the members of this organization, the leaders of this group, and the community at large we all, they all, did not just accept that at face value. They did not lie down. They did not just say, okay, we'll try and figure things out. They came together, we came together, and we said, not so fast, this is our home, we're going to fight for it, and we're going to make sure the school remains here for every student that comes through its doors. I was happy to be a part of that effort and join you all and part of that successful effort in making sure this school remains here in the community of Monterey Woodbury. So, <laughs> so I, I do have a, an assembly citation here recognizing the Lunar New Year. It's always my pleasure to be here and have a tremendous rest of the day. Congratulations to everyone.最早创会的这些人员，还包括三十年以来一直持续为我们协会、为中文学校持续默默做奉献的一些杰出的代表。下面第一个奖项颁发的是杰出社区贡献奖梁北生先生。
奖项有三位获奖者：优秀社区贡献奖王淑美博士，她现在不在；呃，优秀社区贡献奖关慧莲女士，有请。还有优秀社区义工奖许国阳先生，他现在没有来。呃，接下来第三位奖是创会贡献奖，包括邱群华，请大家按照顺序走上台。范梅里。张树薛。周树威、林金、徐丽娜，呃，这里面当然还包括林琼华、杨美英。柯纯清和马红昂，他们现在不在《二人长亭》，呃，所以他们的受奖的将来会有其他人带领你们过去。谢谢光阴似箭，岁月如梭。我们澄清华人协会在风风雨雨中走过了三十年，喜悦败死的亥水，成婚败死的艰辛。今天我们欢聚一堂，共同庆祝华人协会成立三十周年。回顾过去，历史定格成一个个。感人的画面，前辈们三十年前艰苦创业，给我们华人社区奠定了坚如磐石的根基。后来者，后来者继续努力，无私奉献，使我们华人协会更加团结和蓬勃发展。今天，我要借此机会，代表澄清华人协会董事会。向三十年前艰苦创业建校的前辈们，向三十年来辛勤耕耘传播中华文化的中文学校的教师们。
想孜孜不倦、努力学习、努力读书的同学们，想默默无为、无私奉献的志愿者们，给予我们最崇高的敬意和感谢。最后，祝愿大家在新的一年里幸福安康、吉祥如意。也衷心祝愿我们诚信华人协会、诚信华人中文学校蒸蒸日上、鹏程万里。谢谢大家。Thank you, everyone.